What's going on fam? My name is Brennan Myers and welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about why pull-ups, hate to tell you, might not be the movement you wanna follow. Let's jump right in. So as you guys know, for about seven years now, I have been uh, engaged in bodyweight training. I've been teaching so many different types of techniques, workouts. I have tens of thousands of people on my Body Evo program, and uh, I've seen incredible results using bodyweight training. At the same time, now I'm going through bodybuilding, and I understand a lot of it. I wanted to really dig my hands into this different structure and strategy of training and understand the mindset of these bodybuilders so I could come here on YouTube and represent something that's a little bit different, combining both body weight and weight training. And so what I wanna do is talk about pull-ups and how sometimes, yeah, they, they might not be the best for you. They might be crap, as the title says, um, just because of maybe your strength. And that's actually the truth, or your endurance, your muscular endurance. Now, the interesting thing about pull-ups is that um, everyone does them, right? Bodyweight guys, obviously, it's a bodyweight movement. And then guys that are just training to get on stage, like me. I'm prepping for a show for October 5th. And so when we talk about the pull-up movement, why is it so effective? Well, because of the load. I mean, it's your body weight, right? And uh, number one. And number two, when you add weight to that, it takes a lot to pull yourself up. I mean, it, your lats, your traps, everything. That scap is moving and all those muscles around it are just engaged like crazy, including your core. And when you do use your core, by the way, little tip, um, it's, it's next level. So the pull up, why sometimes it is crap, is just because of your grip. And I say your grip because when you're going down, let me just show you really quick. Let's just say you're, you're in a movement here and you're using your feet to stabilize, right? And you're tightening your core. Immediately when, you're, when your legs are, are engaged with something, your whole body, your whole spine is engaged even more, right? And so when you're tightening everything and you're pulling in, it's actually not as much on your grip as you may think because of this closed chain kind of movement. So when you're going into a pull-up, one thing that I, that I see a lot of people doing wrong is when they're exhausted, right? They go to pull-ups and they think, all right, I'm, I'm working back. I'm gonna be able to develop my back the way I want to. I'm gonna bring a lot of thickness to the areas that I want. Um, the truth is, if your grip and your forms are burnt and they're exhausted, you're not gonna see as much results in your back as you may think because it's already exhausted. Imagine if you're coming here and let's just say you do 50 reps, right? Rows, seated rows, 50 reps. And then you go and do five pull-ups. Do you think that your back's gonna be able to handle um, those five pull-ups, let's just say, if you did it at the beginning of your workout, let's just say uh, a, a, a chest movement for a chest day. If you're gonna go bench, the first movement, is it gonna be more effective at the beginning? Are you gonna get more out of it at the beginning? Or are you gonna get more out of it at the end of your workout? It's simple, simple. Hey, of course, at the beginning of your workout. So when you are doing your pull-ups and you've already gone through half of your workout and uh, let's just say you are exhausted a little bit, I don't recommend so much doing pull-ups, especially if you're not as strong as you wanna be just yet. Maybe you can only do three, four, five, six pull-ups. Cause now, when you do add weight to that pull-up, it's gonna be a completely different story. You're not gonna be able to pull yourself up because remember, with every movement, you're engaging other muscles, synergist muscles. Whether it's a bench, whether it's a back movement, whether it's a leg movement, a squat, a deadlift, you're using multiple muscles. So when you're going to do that pull-up, remind yourself, that hey, I might not be in the best shape right now in order to do this many pull-ups. So start the workout with those pull-ups. And that's why pull-ups can sometimes be crap for you at a certain point in time in your training. Now, I wanna give you a couple different movements that you can be doing that are a little bit different than just the pull-up. So first of all, of course, you have the lat pull-down. And that's, that's an obvious, right? Now with the lat pull down, I want you to think of it a little bit differently, okay? So instead of rocking back and pulling in here, I want you to come a little bit under the pull up and come straight down without my cap, obviously. Let me show you. So here and engage and notice my spine. It's not like this, it's here. It's engaged, it's tight. 
tight. This is going to help a lot with your movement. Now remember your feet are planted on the ground and you have this to pull with and you have everything so you're able to actually pull more weight when you are more exhausted and not use as much grip strength. So again, here, okay? Now let's go to a, a body weight movement that would be great instead of a pull up. So let's do a row for instance, come with. So rows, great, great way to engage the back but I'm gonna give you something a little bit different that you can be doing. So instead of just doing a regular old row here, this is great, right? Cool, you can do 10, 15 of them, whatever it is. Now I want you to grab a bench. Grab this bench. And elevate your feet. So you can grab a bench, you can be on a chair, whatever, if you're doing it at the park, Find something that you can elevate your feet with and watch how much tougher it is. Widen out your hands just slightly here and come up there. Now there's gonna be way more stress, a lot more resistance on your back and on your upper body. It's almost like all the weight's coming down on you. So those are just two movements that you could be doing. And of course, there's other weighted movements that you could be doing that are kind of similar. Let me give you one more example. Come with me, come on. So if you go over here to the seated row, it's a really cool movement that I love to follow. So we're gonna come down. First, get the, get the weight, come down on the seated row machine and it's almost like a pull up or a pull up and almost very similar to a pull down. So watch closely. Engaging the same exact muscles. But now you have a little bit planted with your feet on the ground. So couple different movements that you could be doing instead of those um, rows as well. Remember, your lat is one muscle. So you're not gonna be, I'm actually gonna make a video on this about like you thinking that you're working your lower lat, you're actually working your entire lat. Um, as long as your hand positioning is correct and you're retracting and depressing your scaps and going through those same pulling movements without abducting your shoulders too much and certain things like that, um, the results will be pretty damn good. And you won't have to worry about pull-ups at the end of your workouts. Try and get them in earlier. Definitely higher volume, add some weight on there and you'll see some incredible results. So anyways, thanks for tuning in for another video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Create Your Nutrition is coming out very, very soon. Can't wait for that. July 30th, they're gonna sell it like this. It's gonna be awesome. All these influencers um, podcast every Tuesday and Friday. If you wanna see any other videos, please let me know. Appreciate you and I'll see you next time. Peace.